We're here at the Morningstar Investment Conference in Chicago with John Montgomery, the founder of the Bridgeway Investment family. Uh, John, uh, you're here to talk about momentum and how you use the momentum strategy in some of your funds. That's right. First of all, could you just explain what that means? Yes, so momentum, I think of it as like a, mo a locomotive. Once the inertia gets going, uh, things t tend to keep going in that direction. So the concept in investing is uh, stocks that have gone up over recent history tend to continue in that direction. Likewise, ones that have done poorly tend uh, in that direction. So that's the concept of momentum. So you like to own the ones that are doing well. Now, of course, with investing, things do well until they don't. That's correct. How do you deal with that? Well, um, Bridgeway has our own particular style of momentum investing. So uh, we concentrate on price momentum, which is what we just uh, discussed. The problem with just simple price momentum as an investing technique is the inflection points. It's exactly what you said. When it starts not to work, it can go south the wrong way. So in a market like uh, 2008, um, uh, you, can, uh, you can be on the wrong side of that. You know, great year, great year, great year, you're piling into positive momentum and it turns and you tend not to do as well on the inflection points. The way we address that is uh, a second factor in our model uh, that we call a risk adjustment. So we're looking for um, stocks that have that price momentum, but on top of that, have lower risk characteristics. And when you marry the two of those, uh, that tends to give you a better performance record over uh, those inflection points. Now, for the average retail investor, is there any way he or she can mess around with momentum, or is that something not to do at home, best left to the yes. pros? Yes, actually, uh, there are a number of different styles of investing. This is one that I would say don't try at home mm -hmm. uh, for a couple of reasons. Uh, one is it's a high turnover strategy. Uh, so our fund has um, on the order of 200% uh, turnover uh, in a year. That would be a lot of active trading uh, for an individual investor and transaction costs be become very important then. How much you uh, pay um, to buy a stock and then to turn around and sell it. You do that twice a year, uh, you can give up the advantage of uh, uh, momentum investing simply by uh, paying too much or too little. So you have to spend a lot of attention on the process of buying and selling those stocks and uh, that's where uh, a firm like um, Bridgeway really excels. So we work very hard at that. And that's one of the reasons that we offered this fund is we knew we could do a, a, a much above average job okay. on that well, school. Speaking of that, the expenses issue, I know that Bridgeway is well known for taking good care of shareholders, for keeping expenses down and so forth. Um, what are some of the other things you do to try to make sure that you're never pulling a fast one on investors, that they have your trust, even when maybe all the financial industry does not have the trust of regular investors? Well, there's several things we do. One is expenses, as you mentioned. So the transaction costs across the board, especially important in the momentum investing. Uh, the operating expense ratio uh, is the other one of those. Uh, this is just under a percent, so uh, that's that's strong average, for, yeah. and, and especially for a new fund with uh, very little under uh, management in the early stages. Uh, number three is transparency uh, is very important to us. Uh, so every year in our annual report, ours will be coming out in August for the June 30th period. We tell shareholders. Um, the worst thing that's happened in Bridgeway. Every year we say, this is it. Uh, this is part of our philosophy of learning from mistakes and uh, we think that the shareholders are our boss and if they're truly the boss, we think they ought to know, you know the good and also the bad. Well, you know that everybody tells you the good, right? <laughs> of course. But uh, putting on the table you know, the worst thing that happened during the year uh, is an extraordinary thing. Um, I don't actually know of any other fund company that does this. Uh, we've been doing it for over a decade now, every single year. Um, one other thing with the, the financial industry, generally the perception is that it's kind of, you know, heads we win, tails you lose. Sorry, customer. Now, in some of your funds, you actually pay yourself less if you underperform. Yes, Can that's you tell correct. us about that? Uh, yes, so uh, one of our first three funds since inception is our aggressive uh, investors fund. And as the uh, name mentions, it's very aggressive. That's the, uh, since our inception date uh, through the end of last quarter, uh, that fund is number 10 among all domestic equity funds. So it's had a very strong uh, track record uh, in aggregate. It has a very strong performance-based fee. So when we do well, we like to say, when our investors do well, uh, we do well also. Now there are two ways that actually happens. One is I'm a very strong investor in our own funds. Uh, the money I actually plan to uh, retire on uh, is all invested in Bridgeway managed funds. You eat your own cooking. I eat my own cooking and so when it goes well I'm enjoying that right along shareholders. If we have a rough year like 08 uh, then I know exactly what that feels like because I'm right there 
uh, with all of the other uh, investors. And you actually charge less in those bad years. That's right? correct. So we have a trailing five-year period with our aggressive investors. One great long-year track record. We had a very bad uh, 08 and we're still working our way back from that. We're actually paying money back into the fund because of our negative performance-based fee uh, because of that year. So. Uh, that there's an incentive to make sure we turn that around, do it responsibly, and, so. and really be about the long term. All right, well, John, thanks very much for being with us. Okay, good job. Thank you for watching.